Save me family deliverance. And I want to go to Mark chapter number 5 very quickly here. Mark chapter number 5. I want to say to you what the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me about uh, this week. And we're going to see a continuance of this in this evening. But Mark chapter number 5 verse number 1 says this. Then they came to the other side of the sea, the, the country of the Gadarenes. And when they have come out on the boat, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man of an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no one could bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound of shackles and chains. And the chains that had been pulled apart by him and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. And always, please listen to this, and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying out, cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshiped him. And he cried out of a loud voice and said, What I have to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God, I implore you by God that you do not torment me. For he said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Also he begged him earnestly that he would not see them, out, send them out of the country. Please note this. Listen now. Verse number 11. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountains. Please note. So that all the demons begged him, saying, Send us to the swine, so we might enter them. And at once Jesus gave permission. I want you to see there is no reasoning here between the demonic and Jesus. Then the unclean spirits went out and entered the swine. And there were about 2,000. Two and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea and drowned into the sea. So that those who fed the swine and told it to the city and to the country, and they went out to see what has happened. I just want to read the body of Scripture. Then they came to Jesus, and they saw the one. Please note that. They saw the one who had been demon-possessed and had the legion, sitting and clothed in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who saw it told him what happened to him, and how had, what had happened to him who had been demon-possessed, and about the swine. Then they began to plead of him to depart from their region. Now listen to this. Verse 18. And when he got back into the boat, he who had been demon-possessed begged him that he might be with him. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go to your, house, go to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has shown compassion on you. Verse 20. And he departed and he began to proclaim in the Decapolis and all that Jesus had done for him and all marveled. I want to say to you as we read the scripture this morning, I want us to understand this morning the scripture. When I read the scripture, and I can teach it a lot of different ways, but this is the way that I want to teach it this morning. So when I read the scripture, what, what jumped to my attention was this, is that here is a man that was bound, here is a man that was in, sh in shackles and chains. And the Bible says in verse number 5, this is what stood out for me. Always night and day was in the mountains and in the tombs crying out and cutting himself with the stones. I want you to understand what's happening. Jesus in Mark chapter number 1 and 2, Jesus is preaching on the other side. He has just started his ministry. He has got more than 3,000 men or 5,000 men, not including women and children, in front of him. In other words, he has a massive start to his ministry. It is the story where he feeds the multitudes of fish and bread. And here we find the Bible says that Jesus leaves that massive crowd. He travels over sea to the Gadarenes. And what you and I sometimes misinterpret about the scripture is this. We think that when Jesus reached the other side, suddenly there was a man upon him. Not so. When Jesus went to the other side to the Gadarenes, the Gadarenes from the place that Jesus landed to the place where Jesus met the man was about 30 kilometers. In other words, Jesus needed to go and look for the man. Are you with me? If you understand that, it gives a total different spin on, the, on this whole story. Because when I read the scripture, the Lord said this to me. And again, the question is, why will I leave a crowd and go for one person? And I'm not going to say to you this morning, you will leave a crowd for the one that worships Him. But what I will say to you this morning is this, Jesus will leave a crowd to find the one crying out in the night. 
And what the Lord spoke to me about family members this morning, the Lord said to me, there are many families here that individuals crying out to me and I've sent you to tell them that I've heard the cry of the one and I'm because of the one that has cried out, because of the one that has prayed, because of the one that has seeked me out, because of the one, I will not just visit them, I will visit their whole family, I'll touch their whole family and all of them will know I am the Lord. Oh, come on, are you with me? I don't know about somebody, but is there somebody here that has prayed and has contended for the family and now Jesus is sending you a message. I've heard the cry. I've heard the plea. I've heard the supplication and now I have come. Never despise your prayer life. Never despise what one prayer can do. Never despise how much your prayer life can shape the whole history of your family. What I find amazing about the scriptures, this this is that... (laughs) Jesus sorts out the devil. By the way, uh, Satan is not God's enemy. It's ours. You can't say Satan is God's enemy. That's an unfair deal for the devil. Satan is created. He's our enemy. He serves a purpose for a period of time. The Bible says, Zephaniah 3.3, you can go and study it. The Bible says when God has, uh, when the enemy has served his purpose, God is going to have him finished. I'll teach you about that tonight. Zephaniah 3.3, 3, Daniel 7.5 speaks about it very simply. But I want you to understand the scripture. The Bible says that this man tries to cut himself. The Bible says he cuts himself by, by stones. The word stone there is the word law. In other words, he's trying to remove his own shackles by his own efforts. However, he switches between things. Every now and again, he's, he, the Bible says he, he tries to, he cuts himself of stone. The word stone there is the word law, by the way. Again, I say it's the word law, and I want you to capture this. It is interesting if it was the law that is signified here. It is interesting that it was the law that shut Jesus up in the tomb. But there was a power in the tomb stronger than the stone of the law. And it was the resurrection power that went with Jesus Christ into that tomb. They shut Lazarus up for three days. And on the fourth day, it seemed impossible until the one greater than the law came and he said, listen, what seems shut up has only been waiting for me to arrive. But I want you to see what this man does. God sets him free. Listen to the scripture. And when he got into the boat, he who had been demon possessed begged him that he might be with him. In other words, nobody else wanted this man. Jesus frees him. He climbs back into Jesus' boat. He's like, I'm going with you. Boat signifies family. This man says, listen, I'm going to be part of your family. Nobody else help me. You help me. I'm with you. Jesus says, you can't be in my boat. Get out of my boat. Let's reword it. Get out of my boat. Listen to what the Lord says to him. Go home to your friends. But he didn't have friends. He was alone. But the Bible says, go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he had compassion on you. And listen what the Bible says, verse 20. I want you to understand this. And you better shout this morning. And he departed and to be, to, began to proclaim in the Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him and all marveled. The Bible didn't say some. The Bible says all. 